Hi. Today, I'm in my attic eating free food. Just kidding, I wouldn't eat that. Today, I am going to run a new cable for my new access point. I bought a Wi-Fi 6 Aruba, yeah, access point. And I don't really need to run a new Cat 5e cable because I'm only going 10 feet. But I thought, it's warm, I could be a matic, I could change the new cable, why not? So, today, I'm going to replace my Cat 5e cable with some... I think I got a little bundle of it here since I'm not going far. I'm straddling my struts or the framing in my roof so I don't go through it. The wife would very majorly not be happy, but we got some Cat 6 cable. We'll staple to the, uh, to the uh, rafters up here and then into my rack over there. I'm going to mount the access point, terminate it, and then try it out. So, let's try this. Yeah. Oh, thanks for people who are subscribing. We're at 252 subscribers. Woo! Lots. Not really, but it's growing, right? And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start running. Okay. Wires run. The easy part is done. Now, we have to terminate each end and put the access point up. Since the AP22 uses the same bracket as the AP12, I just have to clip it in there and it's ready to go. But up here, I've already run the wire and stapled it up, so let's have a look. There's our Cat6 cable right there. Goes up and around through the trusses and then down. And right over there is the hole. Right. Up here we got some wiring because I have cameras all over the house at the top of the house and then over here where all the stuff comes out Let's see here we got my fiber cable 10 gig fiber link that goes to my desk over in the corner over there and then we have a bunch of cat 6 cables going to the media room and all those cables right there for all the cameras cat 5e Perfectly fine. And yeah, so let's go downstairs. All right, so we got our cable here dangling down. We have our existing access point mount right here. Now all we need to do is put one of these pass-through Cat6 ends on here, which is extremely simple. So let's do that. Get the sheath off. Pull string, pull out our organizer, and then we'll get our pairs to go. So let's untwist all these, and then our power pair, which is the brown pair. Okay, we'll get our pairs together, so green, white, green, orange, white, blue, blue, white, orange, brown, white, brown. We'll pull them out, make sure they're all straight, nice and flat. We'll cut our axis off, we'll let it go onto our drop mat that's down below there. Make sure our pairs are still in order, or it's still in order. Doesn't matter if they're not, because we could always pull the end off and re-glue them, but yeah. So we'll put our end in. Check our order. Green, white, green, orange, white, blue, blue, white, orange, brown, white, brown. There we go. Okay, we'll give it a twist. Put it through our tool. Done. Perfect. Now we just got to do the other end. But the other end, throw my ends down there too. The other end, we're going to put a keystone on. So, uh, I mean, we should test it. So let's hop over there and put the keystone on the other end. We have to pull the cable through the rack down the wall, but that's pretty easy to do. So 
let's move and do that. Then after that, we'll come by and we'll test this to make sure it works. I'm okay, right here's the rack. I'm in here. I used the old white cable that was in the attic. I tied on my blue cable and I just pulled it through the big hole that's right here. I'll show you what that is. There's a mud ring there with a hole. And I just have to terminate this after I cut it off because there's my tape line, right? To pull it into the rack and then we'll put the keystone on. So we got a keystone right here. Oh, it's down here. I'm not used to this. We got a nice keystone. We'll put it on there and we'll put it in the rack. I pulled extra because I usually push the wire back into the wall so that way if I have to move anything. So we got about a foot and a half of wire here. Let's pull this off. Snippy snippy. And we'll take the old keystone out of the rack, which is to the front here, and we got number 15. Pull them out carefully because I got a fiber cable in here. There we go, we'll pull the keystone out. Yep, there's our old keystone that I put in, oh, 10 years ago? Yep, because I used to have a ingenious access point when I first moved in here, and then I changed to Unify, and I gave that stuff away, and now I'm all Aruba. Bye-bye, cable. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab? Exacto knife. Hold on. Now we just have to terminate this. So we'll cut this, spin it, break it off. I'm not gonna throw the ends on the ground right now because I don't want to. We'll take our pears out. Pull this piece out. Pull the sheath back up. So that way we have our pairs back here. And we'll take this. Open these up. Now these are toolless ones. I've been using these for the last mm, four years. They work really well. So we push the wire into the tool. Put our pairs into the right direction. So orange is in this direction. Brown's on this side. Blue's on this side, green's up here. So can't really show that because it's I don't know where the I don't know where the wire is, but that's it right there. So let's untwist these and do them. I usually do one side at a time. So we'll do the first pair, which is blue. We'll snap it in place. So I don't know if you can see that in here. We'll snap it in place, right? And then what I do is just come by here with some side cutters. Cut the sides off, right? So now there's, I don't know if this is gonna zoom in. Yeah, there's no wire there, right? So let's do the other side. We'll do the brown pair at the top. We got brown, brown, white, and then orange, and orange white. Orange, orange, white. Push them in there. Close our little latch. Cut our wires off. And then it looks like that. Uh, can we see that? Yep. Look at that, nice and clean. See the sheath is in here more, so it's nice and protected, right? Now the tricky part is just to push it into the rack. But before we do that, let's coil this up so it doesn't fall on the floor. Let's put a little coil in here and we'll test it because that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we'll put our test loop on one end, plug it in with a nice verified cable. Actually, I'll show you how I would do that. I verify the cable because I had one break in like a million years, but as we can tell, it's working, 100%, right? So we'll take that out, plug them into the keystone, and then we'll go over to the other side and check it. So let's do that. Let's grab this big camera of mine that weighs a lot.
Okay. I'm not gonna mount my camera on the uh, tripod, but what I'll do is I'll go like this. Try not to drop it down my stairs, because I don't really cry. Okay, so, we got the cable. Let's push it in. Get in there. What do we got? Pass. That's a 29-foot cable. Right there. Sorry for the glare. A 29-foot cable going from the access point to here. So, let's go like this, take this down, let's go back into the rack. Okay, so we're back in the rack. We'll take our tester out, put it on the desk beside me here. We won't forget to put that back in the kit, because if I get to site and go to test something, I'm gonna be pissed off. We'll unwrap this, push some of this access back up in the wall here, like this. And then we'll push the keystone to the rack here. So, and I left enough room in my rack so I can put my hand at the top when I'm grabbing things. We'll fish this down here. And we'll put the keystone back into 15. Is it upside down? Of course it is. Can't go the right way the first time. Like this. Snap it in there. Ta-da! Woohoo! Pretty easy. We'll take our six inch patch cable and go from 15 and we'll plug it into 11. Just like that. And I'll show you what this looks like here. Hold on. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Have to move a couple things around here. These have to come over here more. But as you can see, it's there. We just put it in. And up top here, we have a bunch of wires. I can move this back, put it back on the shelf. I have a radio that sits up here, Pi Star Radio, that I use for communicating on my VHF radio, and that just sits up here in the rack. We got all these wires that are here. We got a 10 gig fiber. This goes up. That's what the wire looks like that was in the attic there. And that goes up and over to my desk. All right, so let's take this door and try not to fall off my little stool. I'll close this and there. Okay, now we got our AP22. I've already tested this access point. It works perfectly fine. I took it out of Jason's lab because I tested it on there and did an unboxing and stuff. Now we're gonna use it at home. So let's take this out. We got our fancy access point. They, they look a little bit different. Here, I'll show you what I mean. This is the AP22, right? So we got two big lights. Where's the camera? There it is. We got two big lights right here, and it's about that big. Then we got the AP12. The AP22 is smaller. I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll put it the same. Yeah, see, they put the lights on a different zone now, right? I don't know if you guys, it's hard to do. Where, where is it? Up here. As you can see, they're different, right? Put that down here. Oof. Take this cable. Plug it in. We'll find. There we go. Just had to wait a couple more seconds. Let it boot. Mount on. Now, let's see if we should add it. Let's go like this and go here. And we'll go Aruba. Might not be able to do it from my phone. Save. 
this in, and then we'll go done. So we created a wireless network, and I'm going to make it, it's just going to be a Wi-Fi 6 network. So let's create it. We'll wait. And then we'll connect to it. Is. And we'll connect with a password. Okay, now we'll do a speed test. So now we're only on a 2.4 or a 5 gigahertz network. Fast, refresh. Wow. Oh, I like that. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I'll just go like this. Look at that. 780 over Wi-Fi. All right, so that concludes my video. We got a new access point. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Grab my tools. I don't like leaving my tools here. Have a good evening. Forgot my flashlight. I just said I hate leaving tools. Damn it. Now I'm going. See ya.